MMA Monster here again, playing some more flashback fights here with Kyle. Again, I am in the red corner for each and every fight. So, I am Clay Guida. He is Diego, the Nightmare Sanchez. This fight went not in like a totally bad way at all, but this fight went different than I thought it would. Like, I thought we were going to come out and it was kind of going to be like the real fight where one guy dominates around. I thought the whole fight was going to be close. The fight was in no way dominating, I don't I don't believe. Um, it, it's just surprising how it went to me, to be honest, because of how I fight and how he fights. I honestly thought this fight would have actually gone to maybe even the championship rounds. But I think we both got, you know, we both were a little bit, got a little bit crazy eventually, and it just backfired on one of us. I don't want to spoil the ending of the fight for you guys, but yeah, so here, I know he wanted to keep this fight standing with me, and it, I kind of didn't just because, you know, Diego Sanchez has the best chin in the lightweight division which is 80. That's as high as you can go in the lightweight division for your chin. And in the there's a big difference between clay guida and featherweight and lightweight. I'm used to using the clay guida and featherweight. In lightweight, his stand-up is a tad better. His ground game is significantly worse. And his submission game is worse also. So it, was, it kind of threw me off using clay guida, but... Standing up, I felt more comfortable, obviously, but overall, Diego Sanchez beats Clay Guida in every single way, stat-wise, in this game, so I did have some issues with, with using him, but not very many, as you can see. Um, he did end up taking me down quite a bit. Again, featherweight Clay Guida, his ground game is significantly better than the Lightweight Clay Guida. Now I thought this fight was gonna be just straight up fireworks because we're we're usually like the fights that we didn't record, it, they were just close back and forth. We were just beating the hell out of each other. Sadly, we weren't recording those ones, but there we go with the head kick knockout. Well, actually. The head kick didn't knock him out, but it did. I believe it did land after I knocked him out with that right hook. Let's check that again, just to be sure. That right hook, and then an extra head kick, just to top it all off. Basically, that head kick was just putting the cherry on top of the Sunday. Great, great finish is Clay Guida. And I, I couldn't love it more. But I was just hoping the fight was going to be longer than that. Again, you know, I want to win. He wants to win. We're going to take advantage of every single opportunity we get. Now, on to the next fight. They have fought twice before. Both fairly controversial finishes. But here we go. Anderson Silva. Chris Weidman. In the first fight, Anderson Silva taunted way too much, got his ass knocked out. Second fight, Anderson, freak accident, broke his leg when Chris Weidman checked his leg kick. It was a very, very tragic moment. I remember watching that fight live, and I just thought, I really hope he can fight again. Luckily, we are not going to be disappointed. In January, on January 31st, he will be fighting Nick Stockton Boy Diaz. I know Stockton Boy isn't really his nickname, but the fuck ever. And Chris Weidman will be fighting Vitor Belfort February 28th. Now, as you can see, I want to take this fight to the ground because I know... Kyle and he's great as his strength is stand up 
all the time. I don't know why he goes for so many takedowns now, but his strength is a stand-up game. I try to keep him down this game just because I feel way more comfortable on the ground with Weidman than I do standing up. He's slower than Anderson. He's just got a lot of disadvantages standing up against Anderson. And I was just trying to look for a submission right here, actually. He was throwing a lot of punches, running his stamina. And when he went down, I went for a guillotine, but yeah, I guess it just didn't register. I don't know what happened. But, yeah, I, I again go for the takedown. I do not want this fight standing. I want to try to submit him, maybe knock him out with some ground and pound. Right here I go for a knee bar, but not so much luck there. Right here I thought he was trying to flip me over. When he got up I was relieved that he wasn't flipping me into the mount. Again I go for the takedown, that time he saw it coming. He gets a great beautiful knee to the head there. That's a couple hooks to hurt me. I start teeing off on him a little bit just in time to stop that takedown, and then I get a takedown of my own. No, my mistake here, I was in the half guard trying to beat him up, and he just kept regaining stamina. And I almost, I actually almost got the TKO victory there, though. But he was able to get up. He played a good game there. And he starts wailing on me there. I, I was hurting there for sure. I was trying to take it to the ground because yet again, I feel way more comfortable on the ground against Anderson than I do standing up. Now, right here, I'm thinking, I want to try to finish this fight in the first round. I don't want this to go to the second round because I know Kyle, how he beats me. Great luck. And right here, I finished the fight with a very controversial head kick. I don't think that kick should have knocked him out or even landed at all. They will show a better view of the kick here because I, I quite frankly, I have no idea how that kick landed. I mean, look at this. That kick landed and then boom, it didn't touch him until he put his head back up. Watch from this view, it's a better. Boom, see, that kick did not hit him to knock him out. I have to call BS on that one for my buddy Kyle. I don't think that one should count as a head kick. But anyway, on to the next fight. Nick Diaz versus Carlos Conde. This fight is my favorite fight by far that we did. It was the closest one. And it was just insane. He... I, I, I'm trying so hard not to give away how the fight goes because it, it's just crazy. I mean, I don't understand how this happened, but it was just, it by far was our best fight. I loved it. Um, I was worried throughout most of it. You'll see why. <laughs> but... Kyle seemed to be very, very comfortable with his stand-up game in this fight. And yet again, this is the same situation with the Wyman Anderson fight. I'm Nick Diaz, he's Carlos Condit, I want to keep this fight on the ground as long as possible. And right there, I went for a rear naked choke, just like the Wyman fight, it did not register my submission attempt. And right here, I get back into the mount again. And Kyle is doing a great job, as always, defending my strikes. I'm, of course, doing a great job trying to defend his submit, his transitions. There he gets up, and then he gets it standing again. I land a tornado tick, and I remember in the party, he's like, whoa. And then that spinning back kick, I was terrified. Somehow, I got the takedown. I don't know how I did it, but I did. And I'm doing everything I can to keep this fight on the ground because I do not want to get knocked out. <laughs> I just... I think it was awesome how I got that takedown. And he's, he goes for that spinning back kick quite a bit later, you know, during this fight now. 
just because he thinks he can knock me out with it again, or at least rock me really bad with it again. And I myself try to get a little bit more flashy here, throwing spinning kicks, and then he knocks me down. He gets a knockdown there, and there I'm not worried at all. It didn't hurt my guy that much. And there he goes with that spinning back kick again. He's trying to be all flashy since he rocked me with that first spinning back kick he threw. This, this fight was just crazy. It's just a lot, a lot of action into it. Kept me on my toes. Definitely had a lot of problems with Kyle in this one. My hat's off to him. Oh, and there we go. I get rocked again, and somehow I get the takedown again. And I go for a heel hook immediately, mainly to, um, mainly to get my head health to recover. But also, I I had a, around the same stamina as him, and usually I can submit people with the same stamina or even more stamina. It doesn't even matter where stamina is. I can usually submit people, but Kyle knows me way too well. He knows when I'm going for submissions. He's a very good, you know, at defending submissions. And in that first round, it was kind of tough to score, but because I was I was pretty dominant on the ground when I was on top. But you know, thinking back on it, he did win that fight. It was a very good fight, and he. It was a very good round. He rocked me three times. One of them happened to be a knockdown. But then again, every time he rocked me, I took I took him down. So I don't know how the judge will score that, to be honest. But I can tell you this much. The judges didn't need to score that round at all. Now this round was a very was a pretty good one, too. I really enjoyed this round. I got elbowed in the face, and again, I get the takedown. I go for a submission. He denies it. I'm worried standing back up, so I back away. He surprisingly doesn't chase me. I don't know what that was about, and I thought he was going to come in. I thought I was going to get that tornado kick for sure. I felt very confident in that kick. But here I go. I start the tee off. I get a couple shots landed in. Now right here, I was going to go for a body shot finish, but he goes for the takedown, and as always, I go for the submission. He was so close to getting out of that first step there, but it was too much. I was too much for him there, defending the gates properly. And here we are in the last step as I finish the fight with a Peruvian necktie from Nick Diaz. One of my best comeback victories I've ever had. I mean, I've had some very, very crazy comeback finishes, crazier than that, but against a friend, against a true friend like Kyle, I have not come back against him like that before. One day, I'm sure I'll post a video, we, I'll post a video where he'll win, but we just haven't gotten to that yet. Thank you all so much for watching, please like, comment, and subscribe, and as always, I will see you next time. Goodbye.